Okay, welcome to part four of this set of tutorials. We've just started our layout here in Dreamweaver. I put in my uh, initial table. I've just dropped a sample banner in. Now I'm ready to make the uh, the second region here on my page in my layout. I'd like a place to put some navigation, some horizontal navigation. I want it to be right under my banner. <clears throat> so I'm going to sort of insert another table to take care of this. So I want to make sure this table gets underneath the previous one. So I'll just click down here in the uh, available white area and uh, and my I'll see my cursor blinking over on the right hand side. I'm not going to see it blinking down there. So tables, uh, they want to be, they do not like to be side by side unless specifically told. So if I insert another table right now, I don't have to give it any special instructions to have it go underneath this one. So clicked underneath and you can go to insert table and I want a table here that's going to hold some navigation it's going to have some text in it so I'm going to put in a little bit of padding not too much maybe four pixels or so so that means I'm going to uh, get four pixels above my text four pixels below my text and on either side so I'll give myself a little room so my text isn't tight right up against the uh, um, the edges of the cell make it a little bit easier to read and I'll leave it the same width so that my website, each region, stays uh, lined up. Say OK. And there it drops in that table. So I'm going to type in my menu here quick. So I'm going to click inside that cell. And I can see you can see my cursor blinking over there on the left. Um, I would like this menu when it goes in. This is going to be my main menu or my main navigation. Uh, I'd like that to be centered. So. Um, before I even start, I can get uh, this centered here. Okay, so I'm going to click inside there, um, and I've selected the, the CSS uh, button here, which opens up the uh, properties. It doesn't matter in this case, HTML or CSS, because I'm just changing the properties of this cell. So I'm going to change the horizontal alignment to center. Okay, and there's my uh, cursors now in the middle. So. Uh, let me just open up the pages that I have so I can see which ones I'm going to make links to. So I'm just going to type in a little text message here. Um, uh, so a calendar and put a space. Then I'd like a little vertical line to separate this from the next menu item. So I put one space in and if I do shift and backslash, if you look on your keyboard, that comes out as a vertical line. So I'm going to type in the next one here, assignments, space, shift, backslash, then another space. Um, and here's my, uh, so I'm going to make, as soon as I get these typed out, we'll make these links to the, to the actual pages. So calendar, assignments, documents, uh, what else do I have? I have going to have a contact um, me page, if I could type it right. Okay, and now let's see, I need a page for uh, About Me. Alright, and I think um, that will do it. Okay, so, and I, you know, I'm going to add a link back to the home page. People like to be able to come back to the home page. So, I have those, uh, that text uh, typed in. Now, I would like to link those to the, the pages. So, for instance, when somebody clicks on calendar I want them to view this calendar page and what whatever contact is on that calendar page um, so to do that uh, I'm just going to carefully select that element this happens to be a, a little string of text so I'm going to select that text and then anytime I want to change the properties of anything that's out on my uh, that I've already put out on a page I'm going to come down to my property bar down here and I can see the, the options that I have for whatever I have selected. So I have the text selected. Uh, come down, there's a link text box right in the middle here. You can see there. And I'm going to let Dreamweaver do most of the work here. So if you come to the end of that um, text box, that link text box, uh, there's a little button that looks kind of like a clock. And if you hold your mouse over, it says point to file. So I'm just going to click and drag that and put it right on top of that file that I want this link to happen to. And I let go, and Dreamweaver writes the necessary code. You can see it up here in the HTML. It puts the A tag in uh, with the uh, necessary information so that that becomes a link. So if my visitor were to click on that, they would go to the calendar page. So I'm going to quickly um, link up the rest of these. So 
there's my assignments highlight the next one so I'm just carefully highlighting these so I uh, so my links don't you know stretch over on top of each other so I'm going to go to my documents page I'm going to have a contact me page now the names that I've typed up here do not have to have any relation to the names of these files okay there it's just plain text linking to a HTML file so if they were named different things uh, that's okay now the, the my home link here that I'm about ready to make the page that I've designated that's going to be my home page is the page that people see first and that is the index and that's this one that's sitting out down here so I click on that now I've got my home uh, created okay so that menu uh, for now is done this is part of the reason why I put these uh, the pages I thought I would need to start with my main pages uh, in this top menu okay so that menu is done uh, let me add the the other two tables that I'm going to need so I'm going to click down underneath and insert another table uh, and this table the difference here is it's going to have two columns this is kind of going to be that main content table the one with the, the two columns with the left hand uh, column which is narrower and the right hand column which is larger and I think I'll probably need a little more cell padding here because it's going to hold mostly text so I'm going to put 20 pixels of cell padding in and of course I can change that uh, later okay so there's my two columns uh, and you can see this table came in a little bit thicker just because of that all that cell padding now I want this left hand column to be uh, narrower so I'm just going to put my cursor over that middle divider and drag it over and I'll just kind of eyeball this for now and drop it there and then just so I have some text in here I'm just going to put a little placeholder text in and you can see that the text wraps if given the chance so if I type normal words with spaces it'll wrap inside that um, width um, okay so there is those uh, that those two regions and each of those columns has a defined width and I can come back and play with that later if I just click inside of that cell or in that column and look down at the property bar you can see I have a width down here of 100 I click in here I've got a width of 590 now that adds up to uh, 690 and I told my table to be 770 it's also taking into account the 20 pixels of cell padding I have on either side so there's actually 80 pixels of cell padding in there all totaled and when all that adds together it needs to equal 770 um, okay so that puts my main content area in and I have one more table to put here along the bottom and uh, the footer so I'm going to insert one more table and this just needs to be one column and it doesn't need quite as much cell padding it's probably gonna have text in it so I'm going to leave a little bit of cell padding in for that goes down to the bottom I click inside there and I'm going to center this stuff and I'll just put in a little text And I might have a few different things in here, like uh, contact info you often see down here. Um, you see addresses down here. Also, um, email addresses. So you can put whatever you want down here. I'm just putting some some sample stuff in here. You may also have, um, you know, a spot for last updated on down here. So. Uh, lots of stuff you can put in the footer but again right now we're just concentrating on these major these major regions okay um, with that our, our primary layout is finished we've got our two by fours in and we're going to uh, in the next tutorial we'll talk about uh, sort of making you know checking what it looks like and fine-tuning it a little bit and making it a little more uh, visually appealing or visually useful to our visitor so I'm going to do a quick file save here so that I get those changes saved and we'll see you in the next tutorial.